One Piece Chapter 829 Review. Okay, so the chapter starts off with Luffy, Nami, Chopper, and Pedro, and the others talking about how they're concerned about Peckham. Pedro says it's no big deal. They're all just kind of conversing. Uh, Sanji and Luffy are, of course, complaining because Nami won't let them go on the island. They're, they're just going around the island. Like, they're not actually going on to every island. They're going close to the island and waiting for the log post to set. And then they're moving on to the next one. They're not actually landing on it. And so Luffy and Chopper are complaining because they want to go eat the candy. I mean, the Luffy and Chopper stuff was funny. My personal favorite part was when uh, Luffy went off after he was done steering the, the ship. How he went off and he was like, I'm going to go make us some food. And Nami grabbed him and it's like, I swear to God, if you go near the kitchen ever again. <laughs> and it was really funny. And in case you know, remember a couple of chapters ago, maybe like five or maybe like three or four, Luffy kind of set the kitchen on fire and nearly burned the, the sunny down. They would have had a major problem on their hand if it wasn't for that storm putting the fire out. The Straw Hats are then attacked by a giant centipede. We don't actually get to see their fight with the centipede, just because we know how that ends. We'll probably get to see the fight with the centipede in the anime. The Toei will see an excuse to drag it out and they'll want to do it. But yeah, we don't get to see it. I sure they kicked his ass and they ate it. That's probably what happened. We do get to see the characters from, I think, last week or the week before that were collecting the ingredients for Big Mom's wedding cake. We do get to see them. I mean, we don't get to see them, like, we don't get, like, the title card with, like, all the character information, like, the name and stuff. But we do get to see more of them. I mean, you know, they look cool. I mean, they didn't really do anything, but they were there, in case you were wondering. Yeah, I did pick up on that. We learned that when Big Mom wants food and she doesn't get it, she goes on a rampage and she'll start eating people and buildings and pretty much anything until she gets what she wants. She would even go as far as to almost eat one of her sons. Now this is where things get interesting. We're introduced to the 15th son of the Starlet family, Starlet Mescot. And what he pretty much does is he tells her, Mama, we only need 30 more minutes. And Big Mom does something pretty messed up in response. It is stated by a member of the crew that if he cowered, she will take his lifespan away. We then see Big Mom, like, run her hand down his back or something, and then we see this, like, purple thing. Well, like, I imagine it would be purple. I don't know why, but I imagine that, like, weird gooey thing that looks like it's coming out of his back. I imagine that it's, uh, purple. But... She then proceeds to say 40 years, and the guy falls down, and he dies. They refer to him, they refer to it as her killing her own son. So, yeah, that was very interesting. She appears to have a devil fruit ability very similar to Julie Bonnie, which, I mean, it makes sense, considering people speculate Bonnie is her daughter. And the sort of the theory would then go as a Big Mom's fruit would be the parent's fruit or the superior fruit to Bonnie's fruit. And I will be doing a video. I'll probably record it today or tomorrow. Probably not today. Probably like on like Saturday actually. But I'll, I am going to be recording a video about superior and inferior devil fruit and how all of that works. Then the big deal, the big one, Jim May showed up. Yeah, so Jinbei shows up with, uh, what with the food Big Mom had been rampaging over, which were puffed cakes, I believe. And then, he shows up, he gives them to her, the puff cakes are apparently alive, and she eats them alive. No remorse. She doesn't care, because Big Mom's a bit. Because, really, she's insane. She's eating living creatures. But no, being perfectly honest, so Jinbei gives her the food, and then he mentions that he needs to talk to her, and this is where things get interesting. So he mentions he needs to talk to her, and Big Mom then thanks Jinbei for the pony list. So Jinbei gave Big Mom the pony list he found. Big Mom then remarks, even though I can't read it for the life of me, and then we get to hear her laugh, which is, ha 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 ha, 
Mama, mama, mama. That ain't Big Mom's laugh. I cannot wait to hear that in the anime. But no, just she remarks how she can't read it for the life of her. And then Jinbei mentioned that we need to talk to her about something. And then she said, and I quote, You wouldn't by chance be quitting my crew, would you? And she said it. When she said it, she looks menacing and she looks it's the as hell. She looked angry. Now, I do want to point out something I thought of while reading this chapter was that this whole thing with Big Mom and how her having so many sons and daughters that appear to be legitimate children because the people there are referring to uh, Mascot as her own son, like he's her own blood. But no, it does make Weeble being Whitebeard's kid look somewhat more possible. I mean, a big mom who is bigger than my house, who is like almost the size of my house, can have kids with a man. White beer can, have, can get a woman pregnant. I'm sorry, that's just, I know it's a little mind blowing, but it's possible. With that for another video, um, I really don't have much else to say on this chapter. I think with a very set up big chapter, I do have a couple of things to say about big mom powers. But those are more theories that I'll be doing videos on. So, yeah, if I had to give this chapter a rating, I would say an 8 out of, I would say, you know what, an 8 out of 10. I feel like it gave us a lot of really Im useful information, but I also feel like I, I didn't enjoy it very much. It, it was a little boring. It was a little slow pace. In my opinion, the pacing was a little slow. But I will say it gave us a lot of useful information. So, you know what, I take it back. No, I am. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is not reasonable to me. I'm not sure if you guys agree, but I'm saying an 8 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed my review, leave a like and tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation signing out, and we have a chapter next week. So, yay!